Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with a late video today. Today's video is actually going to be a tutorial. Uh, I'm basically going to walk through with you uh, the way that I use the width tool and the width profiles to really help customize the brushes that I use. So I hope you guys enjoy, sit back, relax, and I hope you guys learn something. All right, hello everybody. So like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about width profiles and more importantly, something I didn't mention was we'll also be talking about the width tool. So first off, what in the world is a width profile? So if you see here up at the top, right there, you see right now it says uniform. These are the width profiles or more importantly, the variable width profiles. Now, usually when you go into Illustrator, you're gonna see like the regular presets, which is I think about most of these right here. But then you'll see on mine, you'll see all these customized width profiles. Now, I like to go through and create different width profiles to get special like uh, feels from the brushes that I use. So first off, I'm gonna show you an example of what width profiles do. Now, a little disclaimer here, these were not created separately as regular uh, strokes and lines. These were created with brushes. This is the exact way that they were created and everything, but I broke this down so you could see the difference between um, having width profiles and without profiles and also without brushes. So this piece right here was created with a, a retro supply brush from the vector hero pack and as you'll see here this is without any brushes uh, applied to it without any width profiles whatsoever you see there's a lot of like regular lines here nothing is tapered everything looks very stock it's still it looks kind of cool but at the same time it's no it looks unfinished it looks like it's just been um thrown together and everything. Then we come over to this middle one here, and this was created stripped of width profiles. This is using a brush, which honestly, this looks cool, this can work, but it's missing that special like spark, that special element. And so when you add width profiles into it, it looks more hand-drawn. It looks more um, special and everything. You feel more like it's um, been hand-drawn, you get that feeling of like Photoshop illustrations. It just feels, it, it gives the the illustration more, pers more personality. And so that's the reason why I always incorporate uh, width profiles, especially when I'm using brushes, two things. So now we're gonna go down here and I've got a few lines here. This is with just like the standard uniform line um, this one is just a standard width profile that every illustrator gets. I even think this one is as well. But then we start getting down to these, and these are more customized. And they don't seem like they're, that there's a whole lot going on here, but there is. So I'm right now I'm using my, my mouse. I'm not using my, um, my iPad Pro. So I'm just going to be using my mouse to just show you an example. So when I take this... I'm going to move over here. When I take this and I draw, you know, this line here. We have, let me take, remove the brush and increase the, the stroke size so you guys can see it. All right, so when I have just like the standard width profile on it, we've got these like sharp edges here. You know, we can easily go into the stroke menu and add these rounded points, but you know, that's that doesn't do a whole lot to for us. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this line and we're going to add with profiles to it so you can see like how it transforms. And I'll, I'll increase this one more time just so it really goes through and shows you what uh, with profiles can do. So right now we have this weird like E looking shape. Now let's go through and just add a with profile that comes standard. This is with profile number one. And now it's got this like really tapered edge. And notice like it's tapered at the ends here. Now, if we were to add a point here and continue this, the width profile stretches. 
Now, one thing I want to point out is watch right here. Watch this area when I create another addition. All right, I don't know if you guys could see that, so I'm going to undo. And notice how it just barely changes, right? That's because the width profiles stretch along the whole uh, the whole line. If you have a solid line here, um, you can basically stretch the whole thing. Now, that's a good thing, and it's also a bad thing. If you're dealing with, let's say, a long long steady line you might not want to have this width profile you might want to change it up and use you know maybe a different width profile something like maybe this here that way you know it doesn't stretch as long or it has more of a steady uh, a steady stroke along the whole thing now that's just a preference you don't have to do that that's just my my thing we're going to talk a little bit about we're going to, we're going to step away from the width profiles right now and talk about just like using the width tool, which will help us create width profiles later on. So I'm going to keep this line right here just a standard uh, 20 point uniform basic line, no brush, no nothing. Excuse me. And then I'm going to use this one and I'm going to alter it. So in order to get the width profile uh, tool without just using a shortcut is shift M whoops, no, shift W, sorry. And, or you can find it right here. It's underneath the rotate tool. Um, some of the other things in here are warp, twist, pucker, blow, scallop, uh, crystallize, and wrinkle. Now, I don't really use any of those, but this is the main one I use. So, to show you, basically you just go to the end point here, and you can technically create a, create one of these things anywhere but you basically just click and drag now you can make it super wide you can make it super narrow to where it's like pretty much nothing there which is just like a point you can do all that stuff with this tool now to create like a basic brush type profile I mean you could do something like this where you go right in the center and you like just barely you barely mess with it. It's just like really small. That's a pretty good width profile right there. Super simple. You don't have to have any crazy, crazy things with it. That works. That gives you um, what you need to just create, uh, create a illustration, like uh, create some good line work. Now, that's not. I don't use these too much. These like this specific type of profile where it's like center bulged. I will more more uh, commonly uh, commonly use things like this where I go just barely close to the end Oop, let's move a little bit farther away there we go and I'll pucker it up pull it out and then I'll also pull out this one just a hair looks like I need to bring this out just a little bit more and you can also move these here see how I'm doing this and I'm, I'm clicked on the center line and it allows me to move this. So I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be bulgy like this. I don't like this, how this end comes like this. So I'm just gonna move this down just a hair. And I think I'll do the same thing here. And so basically what this just did was this created more, a uh, more natural stroke to what you would find for um, if you were to take a brush, like a brush pen or maybe a pressure controlled brush. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to show you how to create a width profile. Right now, if I select this and I try to, to draw, it wouldn't do anything. There's no width profile on here, there's just my, my standard brush on here, nothing, right? So what we have to do is we actually have to select this Go up to the drop down and then click this little icon here, which is add to profile. Now I'm just going to name this YouTube one. And there we go. So now when I draw my brush line, 
sometimes like it's it's very fickle. Illustrator is very fickle, and so you have to sometimes go in and add these uh, to the line. Now let me blow this up so you can see it. But this right here with profile is applied. Now this feels pretty good. This feels feels really good. I'm going to I'm going to uh, apply this with my brush here. So I'm going to go and just draw. It's always fun trying to do this with the mouse. There we go. I'm just going to draw this right here. And I'm going to add the width profile. Now, I don't like how, how this is bulging here. I want it to be bulging here. So what you can do is you can go into the stroke. And you can just hit, see down here where it says profile. We have our YouTube one profile right here. And then we have flip along. And there we go. We just flipped it over on, onto the, the other edge. And now it feels a little bit more natural. But this is the width profile. Let me show you what it looks like again without. Just switch it to uniform. Now, it's there's not a huge difference here. There's not a huge difference. But it makes it feel more natural. It feels less of like a digital line and more of a thoughtful, hand-drawn line. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Now, there's other things you can do with these width profiles. I'm going to quick undo all this stuff so I can get back to this line because I want to remove the width profiles. There we go. All right. So now you have a lot that you can do here. So this is just clicking and dragging, right? Well, if you were to press and hold option key, you can control just one of these sides. That opens up a whole new world of possibilities. I don't even use this that much. Let's see what we can do with this. So I'm gonna create a brush just like how I just created a moment ago. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shorten this side a little bit. I'm gonna increase this side. And I think we'll pull this down just to give it the right effect. Let's pull this back out just a little bit by itself. And then we'll also increase that a little bit there. All right, so now we've created this like interesting width profile. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But let's go ahead and create this new and we'll name it YouTube 2. All right. So now we're going to first I want to just do like a regular curve. I know this is very tricky without the thing, but look at that. It's already applied to it. Let's increase the size so we can really see it. I like that. This feels like a nice stroke for like a an eyebrow. I think that you could really do a, a lot with this width profile. I might actually try it out with some future illustrations. Look at that. That just like, it feels really nice. And see, that's a width profile I've never used before. I just created this right in this video. And I think it's got a ton of potential. It feels a lot more like a, a brush pen stroke. Definitely feels that way. In fact, just to make it really feel that way. There we go. So it's downward stroke. I don't know. I feel like that really, that's a really nice width profile. So you basically saw how I created that. It's super simple. I'm going to say, I'm going to keep this up here because I want us to keep that width profile. I want you guys to have it. I'm going to include, and I'm going to mention this later on in the outro, but I'm going to include this working file so you can have just like a, a little like fun with it. So going to select this. Let's see what else we can do. So some people like to play around with the width profiles and they like to do these weird shapes. They don't like to follow like just like this brush shape. They like to do weird and wacky little 
Frankenstein monster with profiles. I'm not always the biggest fan of this. I've tried these a few times. It gives like this like nice wonky feeling to the brushes, but there are other ways that you can go about doing that. But I thought I would just like share this with you and see like what could possibly come of this. Okay, so now we have this like very weird, uh, weird width profile. Let's save this YouTube three. And now let's try and draw with it. So that's pretty interesting. That's like, that's a really interesting stroke here. I'm going to increase the, the size of it. And the reason why it's probably really uh, light at this, because if you remember, whoops, if you remember when we use this width profile, it's a little bit thicker. I think the biggest thing with this type of uh, width profile is remember, it stretches the width profile along the entire line. So let's have this bulked up a little bit. I mean, that's a pretty interesting line. Because of that, it looks more like a blotty like uh, ink drawing tool. And you know what? I think that actually just gave me an idea for a width profile. So please bear with me. Um, and this will be included in the file. In order to really um, do what I really want with this, I would have to be doing this on a much longer uh, stroke. But I think this should get the idea across. YouTube, was this four, I think? Yeah, four. All right, I'm gonna just pull this down and apply this. Yeah, so now we have like this blotty uh, type of type of like stroke here. It reminds me a lot of some of these custom brushes that I find uh, for Photoshop. I don't find a whole lot of them in Illustrator. I think Retro Supply does have some, but I think this is pretty cool because it's basically taking the, this my favorite brush and it's applying this effect to it. So it's making it like a, a nice roughened type of brush stroke. Let's look at this without that. We'll increase this. Yeah, so I, I really like that. You know, and that's just, that this just came to me to create this profile. But these profiles are gonna be included in this uh, working file. There's not gonna be a whole lot in this file, but at least it, it's a way for you to get some of these awesome width profiles. I won't have the brush preset in here, um, simply because, uh, it's a retro supply brush and I really feel that the best thing for you is to actually buy this brush uh, pack. Now I'm gonna include a link to the brush pack in the show notes so you guys can pick it up. But this is definitely like, it's a definitely a good brush for these width profiles. All right, everybody, I hope you guys had uh, a good time watching this video. I hope you learned you know, something uh, and everything. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment down below. I'm actually gonna do something special for you guys. I'm going to include the actual work file for this video. So basically what you see me working on, I'm gonna include that Illustrator file so you can check it out, so you can um, you know, try things out and you get a couple of free uh, with profiles that I use all the time. Now. In order to get these, you have to uh, follow the link in the show notes below and just sign up for my newsletter and you get the uh, the file. If you already have signed up, don't worry. I'm not going to send you multiple emails when I send out a newsletter. Don't worry, you're going to be fine. But I hope you guys enjoyed once again. And yeah, you always know to leave comments below if you have any questions whatsoever. I love hearing you guys' uh, comments, your feedback, and any questions that you have will inspire you know, future videos and everything. So I hope you guys uh, have a great weekend. I hope this video helped. And remember, stay passionate, stay positive, and stay creative. All right, everybody, bye.